I'm Brandon Grant, Sales and Marketing Director here at Quiltworks. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the Quilt Valley File Share feature. The Quilt Valley File Share feature enables sales reps and your clients to easily and efficiently share various files via the Quilt Valley document. Once a Quilt Valley document has been created and uploaded to Quilt Valley, the client can share files with the sales rep at any point. They can rename, categorize, and even add notes about the file itself. The sales rep can also upload files and share them with the client as well. However, the sales rep also has administrative settings, so they are able to remove any unwanted or unneeded files. So let's get started. So to use the Quilt Valley file share feature, we first need to upload our document to Quilt Valley. So you'll see here in this example, I already have my document created and I simply need to upload it to Quilt Valley. So to upload your document to Quilt Valley, click on the deliver icon in your Quiltworks toolbar. This will open up the deliver window. Select your output that you typically would. This would include your cover page, a layout, possibly any literature documentation, spec sheets, and anything from the links tab that you'd like to include as part of the PDF that's being sent to the client. Once you've made those selections, click on the Upload to Quilt Valley button. This will start the process of getting the document ready to be uploaded to Quilt Valley. Once it completes that process, you will now see the Upload Quote to Quilt Valley window, and this will allow you to choose the customer facing layout that you'd like to use for your Quilt Valley document, and then simply click Upload. Once completed, you have the option to preview the document to see what it looks like before you send it to your customer. For our example, we're going to actually copy the URL. This way we can view exactly what the customer is going to see. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that to my clipboard and then open up my web browser. Once your customer clicks on the link, they'll see their Quilt Valley document will be available to them. If we scroll down through the line item information and the payment options, and even under the acceptance area, you'll see there's an uploads area. This is where your customer can actually drag and drop files that they want to share with you, or they can browse their computer to add a file this way. So let's go ahead and share a file from the customer side of things. So we're going to click on select files to upload, and we have a design drawing that we want to share with our sales rep before we place our order. So we're going to select that file and then choose open, and it'll be uploaded to Quo Valley. Now, when the document is uploaded to Quote Valley, your client will be able to edit the file name, set a category, and even include any notes. So for example, if we wanted to say, please see this file for the rough draft to get started, and then we'll click OK. After this has been completed, Quote Valley will automatically send an email to the sales rep notifying them that the client has uploaded a file. The client can upload as many files as needed to complete the project and you can even go back and forth. So if we go back into Quoteworks and we click on the Quote Valley tab of the document, we'll see all the activity from the client so far. So we'll see they viewed the document for the first time they uploaded the file and then they edited the information, in that case adding the category and the notes. So on the sales rep side of things, if you'd like to reply or pull down that file, you simply need to click on the view sales rep facing page. This will bring you into Quote Valley on the sales rep facing mode. If you haven't logged into Quote Valley, you'll be prompted to log in first. I've already logged in, so I'm good to go. And then you can scroll down to the uploads area. And you'll see a couple things here. First, you'll see there's the two tabs available. So this is what the client or the customer has uploaded and how many documents. You'll see you can click on it to download it. You can also edit it. So if you want to change the file name, the category, or add to any of those notes, you can do that. You also have the option to delete or remove files from the Quote Valley document. So maybe it's an older version of the document or you no longer need it. You can simply remove it by clicking on the garbage can icon here. If we click on the sales rep uploads tab, you'll see there's nothing here because the sales rep hasn't included anything. So as a sales rep, if you'd like to upload a file or multiple files, you can drag and drop files just like it says here, or you can choose to browse your machine for a file as well. So if we wanted to include our availability schedule and click open, this will do the same thing that the client had to go through where you'll have the file name, the category. So we'll say this is miscellaneous and we'll say, please see the schedule for implementation. And 
and let us know the best date for you. And then click OK. That will upload this file to Quote Valley and then send an email automatically to the client that a document has been uploaded to Quote Valley and is now available. This functionality makes it very easy for the sales rep and the client to go back and forth and share any documents related to this particular quote or proposal. So it makes it really easy for them to go back and forth. Additionally, you'll be able to use this uploads area even after the document's been accepted. So if we go back into our quote from our customer, or our customer side quote, and we're just gonna refresh it with the changes, we scroll down, this is what the client would see, so they see the document they've uploaded. You can see they can edit it, but they can't remove it. And then the sales rep upload, they can just view it. They don't actually have the option to edit it since they don't have admin options. You can also see that it's grayed out, that they can't select files to upload on the sales rep behalf since they're not one. When the customer signs off on the document, we'll agree to the terms and conditions, say everything looks good, sign off on it, and then click to accept. Quote Valley will bring you to the acceptance screen and if you scroll down, you'll see those files actually come with you. And if you want to include additional files, you'll have that opportunity. So you can actually include additional files if it's important to share maybe like a PO after the document's been accepted, you'll be able to still use this functionality. So if you don't have a use for the functionality during the quoting and negotiating process, you can still use this functionality after the quote has been accepted and agreed to, especially if you need some type of terms or some type of PO that the customer wants to share. Or really, maybe there's a contract that needs to be added later on. You'll have that flexibility and be able to save all that information here. Now for the setup portion of this, it's gonna be very, very simple. In QuoteWorks, click on Tools, Options, then click on the Quote Valet tab, Quote Valet Setup, click on the Site Files tab, and on the right-hand side, you'll see the Quote Valet upload area. This is where you can actually determine what that category list is. So when we were uploading those files, we had the options to choose between an SOW, drawings, or miscellaneous. This is where you can set these defaults. You can add to them by simply adding a comma and typing in a new category. You can remove categories. You could remove them all if you'd like. So you can easily customize this and have the categories that are important for your company. Additionally, I would highly recommend checking this checkbox that says display file upload edit window after upload. When I uploaded the file to Quote Valley, it prompted me to select my category and also add any notes. This will ensure that happens each time a file has been uploaded to Quote Valley. Otherwise, it's a manual process. If you're never going to need those options, then you can go ahead and uncheck this, but most companies would like to force this so you have more context about what's being uploaded and shared via Quote Valley. Once you make those changes, simply close out of here, click OK to save your changes, and you're all set. You can now start using this feature with the default settings and the categories that you've set in the setup. For more information on using the Quilt LA file share feature, please check out the QuoteWorks help file or feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.